girl with the pearl earring just got vandalized. Is she moving away from or toward you? She is the enigmatic subject of Girl with the Pearl Earring, a painting by Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer that is frequently referred to as the Mona Lisa of the North. The masterpiece, Girl with the Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer, was the most recent piece of art targeted by climate activists in a demonstration at the Moritaus Museum in The Hague. According to reports, the expensive piece was undamaged. Further details about the vandalism will be given to you by this channel, Art and Beyond, so make sure you stay tuned. The Girl with the Pearl Earring belongs to a group of idealized, occasionally too emotional paintings called Tonys and possess the charm and nuance that defined Vermeer's art. However, this work differs from many of Vermeer's tranquil narrative scenes that we view from a distance. A girl reading a letter, a piano lesson, and a portrait artist are some of his works. A drawn curtain frequently emphasizes the divide, giving us a sense of intimacy whilst maintaining the painting's distance. We can watch a milkmaid calmly pour milk into a bowl, but that milk isn't for us. We are only bystanders. Vermeer's meticulous compositions evoke a well-balanced harmony. Many of his paintings, Vermeer uses the checkered floor to show off his mastery of perspective and foreshortening. That method makes use of disorientation to create the appearance that an object is moving away from the viewer. Other components, such as sight lines, mirrors, and light sources, use location and space to represent the situation. A woman is carefully positioned to read a letter by an open window so that even the window can reflect the woman's picture back to the observer. Even the easel leg would be hidden by Vermeer for the purpose of composition. The girl with the pearl earring comes to life precisely because of their absence. A dark, flat background is used in Vermeer's chiaroscuro technique to emphasize the subject's three-dimensionality. She changes from being a prop in a dramatic narrative situation to a physiological subject. We are drawn into her stare by her eye contact and slightly parted lips, which suggests that she is going to speak. Nobility or religious dignitaries were frequent subjects of traditional portraiture, so why did Vermeer choose to depict an unidentified girl? Delft, like the rest of the Netherlands, had turned against the governing aristocrats and the Catholic Church in the 17th century. The Dutch eventually came to appreciate the notion of self-rule and a democratic republic after eight decades of insurrection against Spanish dominance. Many artists, including Vermeer, were left without their usual clients because cities like Delft were not under control of kings or bishops. The Dutch economy was unfortunately revolutionized by commercial innovation led by the Dutch East India Company. A new class of merchants and patrons were produced as a result. These merchants desired middle-class subjects painted in settings that resembled their own homes, surrounded by familiar things because they wanted to be presented and represented in the paintings that they funded. For instance, the maps depicted in Vermeer's artwork were seen as stylish and sophisticated by the merchant elite during the so-called Dutch Golden Age. So if an artist can invest time and effort in drawing the beautiful portrait of an anonymous girl, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and enable the bell icon. The Girl with the Pearl Earrings' oriental turban highlights the worldliness of the merchant class, and the pearl itself, a representation of riches, is actually exaggerated. A genuine pearl of that size was beyond the means of Vermeer. Most likely, it was only a glass or tin drop that had been painted to resemble a pearl. This rich illusion is reflected in the actual painting. The pearl appears weighty and round in the larger setting, but close-up inspection reveals that it's actually simply a floating smudge of paint. Upon closer examination, Vermeer's skill in creating illusions is brought to mind. Although we might never discover the girl with the pearl earrings' true identity, we can interact with her painting in a way that will stay with us forever. Her presence is both piercing and subdued as she hangs in the Moritzhaus Museum in The Hague, where she has a permanent home. She embodies the emergence of the contemporary viewpoint on politics, economy, and love in her enigmatic style. On Thursday, October 27, 2022, climate activists used adhesive and liquid to attack Johannes Vermeer's masterpiece, The Girl with the Pearl Earring, but the famous painting was unharmed in the most recent of these publicity-seeking stunts. Three people have been detained following a demonstration against climate change utilizing Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring at the Moritzschwi Museum. Two men wearing t-shirts with the slogan, Jim, please stop oil, are seen standing next to the expensive work of art in a video that's gone viral on social media. One person's hand appears to be glued to the wall. 
Whilst the first guy pours a can of tomatoes down his throat, much to the horror of the other guests, the other is seen gluing his hand to the glass that covers the artwork. That's not yet known if the painting has been harmed, but NOS claim that it doesn't seem to be the case. Three people have been detained following a demonstration against climate change utilizing Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring at the Moritz House Museum in The Hague. In a brief statement, the Moritz House denounced the deed. The museum stated, Art is defenseless and we all condemn all of the attempts to damage it for whatever purposes. Because we don't want to give this activity any more attention than necessary, we won't say anything more. And thank God, the extraordinary artwork is not damaged. So what do you guys think about this amazing piece of art? We'd really love to hear your opinions, so let us know down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, share it with a friend or family member if you think it's interesting, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content just like this one. But that will conclude today's video for today, so thank you guys again so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.